Welcome to your first of four fan-requested Friday matchups. This is an interesting one, I have to say. Rich Piana versus Boston Lloyd. Now, I'm somewhat familiar with both of these guys, but I definitely don't follow either one of them on any social media, or I don't watch videos on Rich Piana, even though I understand he's very popular. A lot of people watch him. And I'm guessing Boston Lloyd is somewhat popular. I don't know. I, Like I said, I don't follow either one of these guys. But with all due respect, I hear Rich Piena was a very respectful man. And a lot of people respected him and liked him. So, hey, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? It's a very interesting one to judge. It's a big man versus a thin boy. Even look at the calves. I mean, Rich Piena. Just a massive set of calves. He had awesome genetics, I'm here to tell you. Much better than Boston Lloyd, but can premium training, things of that nature, drugs, dieting. Although I did hear one tidbit that I, I think Boston Lloyd claimed natural or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, close in the front double by. I'll have to give you my overall decision at the end. Here we have the front lat spread, and this is very unorthodox judging methods. I mean... Usually, if a guy's winning a little bit on size, you give him an edge. But Rich Piena, his calves are the size of Boston Lloyd's legs, his quads. And the lats are, I like the way they're filled out for Rich Piena. Boston Lloyd, he's got his delts pointing way up too high. It makes his chest very narrow. But conditioning, things of that nature, muscle separation, Boston Lloyd has this one. So it's a very difficult one to judge for sure. Side chest development. Now I would say for sure the man is beating the boy in this one. Boston Lloyd, I made him a little bit shorter in here. I actually asked you guys how tall he was. One guy answered me. Thank you very much. I guess I should have copy pasted your name. But anyway, you know who you are. Thank you. Anyway, Boston bending down in the upper body here. He's a long-legged dandelion here. Dandy, dandy long legs. Anyway, Rich Piana is anything but that. Much to my surprise and actual delight, he has a fantastic set of legs. Shorter in the, the femur bone, I guess. But those little tiny legs, I don't care what type of condition you are. Those are too thin for open bodybuilding. He's probably a classic physique vision guy. Side tricep, same thing. Man destroys boy here. It's funny, boy has a... A weird looking midsection usually for a lean guy you should have a ripped six pack he does not have a very aesthetic set of abs I have to say does this boy against this big man and may God rest his soul rich piano like I said a very well liked nice guy and that's that's what it comes down to guys so rich piano you know what a, he was a good guy he was a good guy Turn around, and I guess I have to say that about him before I, I lay the smack down on him here, I guess. And I'm sure if you're familiar with my channel, judging techniques, things of that nature, you know what I'm going to say. And it's, it's, it's a hard thing to say about this man, Rich Piana, who's passed away. Rich Piana. You were good, but not the best, Rich Piana. You were better than most of the bodybuilders that I've seen that were not famous. He needed gloats, guys. He needed gloats. And actually, boy has a striated set of glutes, as well as his hamstrings and... Unfortunately, this is the only back pose I could find of the boy. So, it's it's kind of a rip-off, I guess. But you know what? It's Fan Request Friday. And I'm not going to count this one too much against Piana. Now, this ab and thigh. This is what I'm talking about. Boy. <laughs> Homer Simpson. Shut up, boy. He calls Bart boy. Boy here. He does not have a very sightly midsection at all. And uh, to boot... To boot, Canadian, eh? To boot. This, uh, it's not a very good ab and thigh. It's the only one I could find. 
I guess that you could call an Abanthai. Rich Piena. Wow, guys. Rich Piena. And I don't even have to sugarcoat it and be nice to him. Because he is, you know, he passed on. Most muscular. And in my opinion, Rich Piena, he's just too big for this small Boston. And uh, it's maybe a little bit of politics here, guys. But in my opinion, it's just the fact that Rich Piena is just a superior bodybuilder's bodybuilder. He has the genetics to be a big man. He is the big man in this matchup. I mean, look at the calves. Well, you can't look at the calves in this picture, for goodness sakes. But go back and look at the old pictures or the other pictures. And he was just beating Boston. But, guys, you know me. I'll be waking up 2 in the morning seeing this here. Just two man's bums. And one not so conditioned, and that's all I'll see, you know. Be like, oh no, soft glutes. But you know what? You know what? Rich Piena, I'm giving him this one. Because he was just so much better. And he was, add up all the poses, he was winning. And I did that song, and I'll probably never do that again. Should have did like a rock and roll. Rich Piena, yeah. <laughs> Look at his big muscles, tattoos, yeah. He is so swelled up that you will get scared if you see him on the streets. Imagine old ladies pushing their carts of groceries. They'd leave them there and say, oh my god, he's huge. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed your first of four fan-requested Friday matchups. Get your request in, and if it's first, I'll do it next week. Have a great day.